Chelsea Elaine with White Pearl Designs. I'm here to show you how to reupholster a chair with a padded back. This can be a little bit more difficult than reupholstering a chair with just a padded seat because there's two layers. So this one has the padded front with the cording that goes all the way around the top and it also has padding on the back. So we're going to show you first how to take that off because it can be kind of difficult. Uh, the tools you're going to need are uh, this Stanley pick. I got this in a set of four different picks. I like the one with the hook personally uh, that I just got it at Walmart for about $2. Um, needle nose pliers. These again were from Walmart for about $1.50. Uh, some heavy duty pliers. Uh, these are my husband's. I don't know where he got them from. Some sharp scissors. Um, I actually got sharp uh, scissors that you can resharpen so that they stay sharp. It's about $15, but definitely if you're going to be doing a lot of this, a good investment to make. Um, and then this scraper tool, it's really gross and dirty because I use it for everything. Um, I got it at Walmart in the painting section. It, you can use it to open cans, but this one we're just going to use the tip to pry off the fabric. Uh, first thing you're going to do with this is we're going to cut right down the center of the chair. And you want to be careful when you start doing this because if you don't do it, if you push too hard, you can cut through the foaming underneath, which you don't really want to do. I just, the only reason I cut first is because it makes it a little bit easier for me to work with if I can get that foam out of the way. So we're just going to go down down the center and then I'm going to cut the sides to open it up a little bit. And don't worry too much about keeping this fabric intact because most likely you're not going to be able to. Um, and I'm going to show you how you can reupholster this to get the right fit with your new fabric. Staples and also to give me a little bit better grip on the 
recording. Staples fly everywhere when you're doing this, so be careful. I think I've got one more over there that needs to come out. There we go. And I've got a couple on this bottom, so I'm going to turn the chair to face me here. Nice thing is, these staples are really easy to pull out of these small or thin boards. You don't even really need to pry them out. over where the fabric has been stapled directly into the wood all the way around. So you're going to do the same thing you did before. You're just going to go around and remove all of those staples until you can pull this off. 